Here are the stories that you'll see today in which were caught on camera by chance, but made a lot of noise on the internet. There are fantastic places on the planet, strange characters and amazing animal antics, literally making your hair stand on end. You're on the channel Top Facts, and we have a collection of short videos that will make your day. Let's take a look at who hit the jackpot. An art object made of concrete and iron in the shape of a hand reaching towards the sky was built in 1992. If you find yourself in the Chilean desert of Atacama, visit the monument. Erected in the middle of an uninhabited plain, it is meant to express the pain of human weakness and loneliness. In a word, it is a version of the sculpture Despair. A very impressive object. Remember, there is an expression to hear a voice crying in the wilderness. Since we're among the sand, let's see what strange things can happen with it. The video filmed in February 2016 shows a mysterious phenomenon in the Gaza Strip. The sand began to bubble as if boiling. Local residents naively blamed it on extremely high temperatures, and some expected that monster worms would soon crawl out. But they were disappointed. The reason is simple. It's air, trapped in the dry sand and it was trying to reach the surface, creating an illusion of boiling. We know that a large part of oil is extracted in deserts and the Arctic, but have you seen it boiling like this? It's most likely happening due to some underground pressure or a break in an oil pipeline. This means that there are a lot of oil in these places since it's coming up in such a surge. It can be dangerous, but if you encounter such a phenomenon, do not approach it. Residents of a village in Iraq rushed out with phones in hand when they saw a river flowing where the desert used to be. They were amazed as they touched the flowing mass, trying to understand where it came from and what it was made of. As a result of the combination of rainwater and sand, a strong flow formed that the earth could not absorb, and it began its journey. A waterfall is a usual sight to go admire. But did you know that sand can also fall beautifully? The video of cascading sand was filmed in Saudi Arabia in 2017. You might ask, where does the current come from? The same reason. If the desert receives too much rain, the sand mixes with water and falls from the hills, and it looks like a real waterfall or sandfall. You might be saying to yourself, too much rain in the desert. Yep, you heard that right. That is exactly what it's like. The mountains keep the secret of the snowman, and despite the wild cold and lack of oxygen at high altitudes, we still believe that he's here. What would you say if you see that unknown forms of life are encountered in the extreme conditions of a desert? What is the strange creature roaming among the sand dunes? The fact remains that it's a mysterious living organism caught on camera. Any guesses? These tiny purple spheres were found in the Arizona desert. A married couple spotted them while driving by. The bright purple color caught their attention. These mysterious jelly-like balls look like fish eggs or vitamin capsules. But how did they end up here? Jokingly, the find was called alien eggs and was left alone. Who knows, maybe they were indeed eggs or an experimental batch of pills that fell out of an airplane. This camel does not show its heart or tongue, but what it inflates in its mouth is found in all members of the species. The doula is an organ at the back of the throat which camels need to attract females or assert themselves in a group. So if he inflates it, it means he likes you. Since childhood, we've been told that camels eat thorns. Well, honestly, when I watch such a thing, I realize it's the most heart-wrenching video in my life. How can one eat a cactus? Maybe if it's cut up, it's juicy and tasty. But like this, with the thorns, camels seem to eat it easily, as if it were a crispy chip. Cats also eat fish bones, but this video is absolutely amazing. Does it not hurt the camels at all? <laughs> Extremely impressive. Life is an amazing thing and it manages to continue in the most difficult living conditions. Observe these stone pits in the Utah desert. They are just a natural reservoir for storing rainwater. But if you look closely, you can see an ephemeral creature in it. They look very fragile and have adapted to live here alone in the middle of the desert. 
Sand and water behaves in a very special way. A woman was feeding a fish in a lake, and suddenly, some strange sandy structure began to rise from the water. It seemed that a palace or monument from an underwater kingdom was about to emerge. Within a few minutes, this pedestal grew to about 10 feet wide. It looks like cosmic footage of a planet creation, but in reality, it could be a source feeding the lake. Most likely, it pushes sediment to the surface, acting like a mini volcano. The golf course turned into a water mattress after the irrigation canal burst and the water was absorbed by the loose soil. The guys decided to play with this soft cushion, but in some places, the pillowcase opened up, and inside there was as much water as a huge bubble. So don't rush to step on the swollen patches of ground, because what if there's a pit under the water? An excavator is not a boat but apparently it manages to swim as well as any yacht. I wonder why it ended up here and what it plans to do. A modern solution. If you need to deliver a yacht to the store without a car, there are eco-friendly methods. An electric wheelchair is suitable as a tractor, and an uncle on roller skates will do as the pusher. Genius and simple. Everyone had fun. From the next stories, your hair will start to move. In August 2023, tourists in China's desert suddenly had their hair stand up as if electrified, without any apparent reason. No, they didn't ride on donkeys to create the friction, but they ended up fully charged. Even their guide with 10 years experience in this place had never encountered such a situation before. Experts commented on the video like this. People were under electrified clouds, which created a separate field. It looks funny and probably got some pretty amazing pictures. Do you think it's a normal scene of life in China? A headless man wandering the street and no one even turns to look at him? Have people become so indifferent or is there something wrong with this video? Clearly some trick is hidden here. If the headless person turned to us, as the saying goes, face to face, <laughs> excuse the pun, we would see whether it's there or not. They say when a person leaves home not feeling like themselves, they left their head at home. We accept the saying, but do not agree to see it literally. On a mountain, a group of people enjoy the misty landscape. But what is a headless person doing here? How is that even possible? And again, it seems no one is disturbed by the presence of a person lacking a head. Either they agreed to play a trick on us, or the participants of the excursion are blind. Or maybe it's just faked. Magicians are also people, and sometimes they go to cafes. But what if they get the urge to do some magic there? It would be hard to focus on your food. Here's our eyewitness who abandoned his meal to film the magician. What would you think of a person whose hands were in a napkin that sometimes freezes and floated in the air? If you wear costumes of fairy tale creatures and think you'll become the main wonder on the street, it doesn't always work. Sometimes magic walks without a costume. Take a closer look at how a man in red emerges from nowhere. Ideally, he should have approached from the right. Some commentators called him a time traveler, while others considered the girl a perfect distraction, asserting that the man appeared as if from nowhere due to an optical illusion. Sometimes a simple sneeze is enough to cause an avalanche, but here it's the reverse. This avalanche will have everyone sneezing, and for a long time. All it took was a loader slightly touching a tree in New Jersey. If you have a pollen allergy, you would better stay away from the scene. When flowering trees fall, it could become unbearable for the residents of an entire area. It's like a pollen bomb. It's hard to believe trees can hold so much pollen. Probably the town's pharmacy made a lot on selling masks. I'm sure nobody expected a ball to bounce so high. It flew right up into the sky from the surface of the water, like a sports projectile. What power! A great moment captured on camera. It's incredible the shapes water can take. It can even become a wall. You see the moment of impact and the beautiful reaction of the guy who didn't want to get hit in the face with a ball. He just created a block of water. It's fantastic, 
Hard to believe that it's even possible. Do you think it happened by chance? Generally, I heard that alligators can swallow anything that comes close to them. Why doesn't this guy want to move and enjoy a hearty meal? Maybe he's already tried and realized that the bird will fly away faster. Then why waste the effort? He'll serve as a parking lot for a while. Let the bird stand, scratching its back with its claws. Turns out it's true. Little crocodiles love it when you scratch them behind the ears. It's the first time I've seen a fearsome reptile with dog-like behavior. He behaves well with people, enjoys affection, and begs for a piece of chicken. This doesn't prove that you can tame crocodiles, and most likely his relatives dislike him. What are the chances of finding a lilac flower with five petals? They exist, but you're unlikely to encounter a frog with three legs. When they joke that a dog doesn't need a fifth leg, you could rephrase that. Unlikely, a third limb helps a frog jump better. So, the best is the enemy of the good. A man was curious about a fur blanket, but when he poked it with a stick, he woke up with a large and friendly family of spiders. And here's another colony of centipedes living under a hairy roof. Who knows, maybe this encounter leads to big money. But personally, I'll think twice before touching any tree from now on. When many small ants are seen chaotically crawling on the floor in Asia, it is considered a sign of wealth. The ritual we observe is neither a dance nor a defensive mechanism. For example, when deer do this, they are protecting the young from a sudden predator attack. But ants begin moving in a perfect circle when their civilization is facing a social catastrophe. Biologists call such behavior the spiral of death. Ants lose their ability to communicate and orient themselves due to overpopulation or chemical disturbances and turn into zombies. I would not dare to pick up such a bug with my hands. Do you hear the sound its wings make? I'm amazed that such a hellish machine has become a cute little bug when it quiets down. A group of friends was returning from a trip and discovered that some stick had stuck to their car. But upon closer inspection, they realized that the stick was alive, just clinging with a death grip and trying to hold on. This amazing insect is indeed called a stick insect. It is harmless, but its limbs are very fragile, so don't pick it up with your hands as you could harm it. A family at a barbecue picnic witnessed a live hunt. A hawk circled its prey for a long time, and at the right moment, caught it. It turned out that it was a sizable snake, which decided to add it to the communal table. Perhaps it wanted revenge for not being offered any food. No one was prepared for such a turn of events. People panicked and scattered. Who knows, maybe the hawk created this plan to scare people off and enjoy the grilled sausages for itself. There are so many snakes in India that sometimes they get stuck in each other. Witnesses filmed a cobra with a tiny burrowing snake inside its nose. Since these little ones are blind, it could have well mistaken the cobra's nose for a tunnel. Wonders of navigation. This snake moves very purposely. Maybe it just likes playing in mazes, and this isn't the first time. A brick wall. An ideal gaming platform. While for people on the street, there are much fewer games. Just not stepping on the joint lines of the pavement tiles or jumping over steps. A snake that slides at high speed looks dangerous, but it may turn out to be harmless. But the one that moves in such a disjointed way causes a surprise smile. Yes, it's more funny than scary. Do not be deceived. Before us lays a viper, an inhabitant of Asia and Africa, and it is extremely venomous. This video takes us back to thoughts of the movie The Matrix. People on the street noticed a pigeon that had frozen in the air near some wires. It seems like nothing was holding it. There was no net or lines. Understandably, the bird showed no signs of life, but why did it not fall? The bystanders could not find an explanation and left us with the video. Can you solve the mystery? The vulture is not a particular sociable bird, but sometimes they're capable of cooperation. This one flies together with its owner. 
Look how fascinating it is to watch the landscapes if you were not alone in the sky. When we see such behavior from a black vulture, we even develop a fondness. This beauty could pass as a pet. A crow decided to participate in a weather forecast program. It's investigating the camera. It looks like the city was taken over by a megabird. Because of it, the broadcast became a bit longer. Viewers wanted to take a closer look at the new news reporter. Admire this cute duo of a turtle and a sea pup. Sometimes children show much more ingenuity than adults. What you see is not friendship, but pure exploitation. The seal simply wants a ride to the ocean, and the turtle, apparently very rushed, is indulging his whim. If you were looking for inspiration to go to the gym, this story is for you. Perfect motivation. This walrus is more active than most people I know. I wonder how long it would take for him to get in shape. By the end of it, he'll probably have rock-hard abs. Best friends can come from different families, but this pair is as incompatible as the views of the Montague and Capulet families. A cat has chosen a rat as a friend. Probably it's dealing with some existential crisis, as it even licks the rat. I'm beginning to rethink what I knew about cats. Or is this all part of a cunning plan? Let the rat grow bigger and become more plumper? Many trained animals cannot do a tenth of what this dog was capable of doing. It got stuck behind a stone wall and figured out it could use a tree and the strength of its legs to get to the other side. A well-executed trick. Unfortunately, we didn't see the final jump. We all hope it worked out. We've all heard about raccoons as sworn enemies of gardeners and pests of the yard. But this guy has superpowers. He dances so coolly that he could definitely have been taken to parties. It seems like he's having a blast. Why not turn up the music? Although a trampoline was never intended for foxes, be ready for this delightful moment. These foxes somehow understood the elastic nature of the jumping mat, and now nothing can stop them. Essentially, foxes aren't far off from dogs. They also love to play. I think the trampoline has become their favorite spot. If mountain goats are forced to live on the plains, they will not lose their ability to climb steep walls or high trees. If the genes demand it, they will climb to the top of palm trees. Incredible how they manage this in atypical conditions. One question, how do they now descend down a narrow trunk? This unusual giraffe caught the attention of safari enthusiasts due to the resemblance of cacti or shells growing on its neck. Experts explain that the poor animal suffers from palpaloma, and the giant warts on its skin cause itching. Over time, they harden and can turn into cancer, but doctors believe that it might be possible to develop an effective vaccine. Let's hope they hurry up. Any person would be scared seeing lions ferociously fighting each other, but Russians are made differently. A man saw four lions losing their cool and decided to discipline them in his own way, using the almighty slipper. They immediately dispersed obediently like mischievous kittens. Another living horror scene from the books of Stephen King. This is a gas station in Louisiana, where a giant swarm of moths has taken over everything. It's impossible to touch anything. No one wants trash in their gas tanks. Besides, in such a situation, it's better to keep the doors closed. The swarm attacks like a hurricane. These large moths are called mayflies because they only live for 12 to 24 hours. In their short life, they have a lot to accomplish, including socializing, which is why the moths cling together so actively. This is not a swarm of bees, nor a flock of birds. Are you ready to see an apocalyptic movie? This happens near the Mexican town of Tompalabampo. Shortly before sunset, thousands of bats fly out of caves in search of food. Someone was lucky not only to see this themselves, but also capture the terrifying scene on their phones. Imagine how much a swarm can eat in one night. 
Scientists are still scared of these frames because they can't have a good explanation about how a whole avalanche of fish ended up in the desert without water. Although some locals took the phenomenon as a miracle, in my opinion, it doesn't seem so optimistic. Clearly, something went wrong in nature. The dance of the demonic manhole cover is something more than just movement and inertia, although I've never seen it before. The theme is as old as the world, and we're all told in childhood to avoid the manhole cover and to not step on the closed ones. This manhole cover flails as if possessed. Those who recorded the incident on camera enjoyed the spectacle for several minutes. An interesting effect is created by a bullet fired on the ice. It starts dancing like a wound-up toy. It was a regular shot, but the ice was too thick to break through and too soft for the bullet to ricochet. Therefore, the bullets go crazy, unwilling to accept defeat, still trying to do something. Another paradox, how can a helicopter be in the sky with stationary rotor blades? Without rotation, it wouldn't even lift off the ground. This is not a malfunction, not fake, and not a simulation. But it's just that the frequency of the smartphone camera and the rotation frequency of the rotor blades coincide. So visually, the blades always appear to be in the same position. Optical illusions involving moving objects are my favorite. Have you ever noticed that some airplanes seem to hang in the air during descent or takeoff? We all understand that they are moving much faster than a car, but visually, it appears as if the plane is stationary. Here's another example. Passengers witnessed this during a flight when the airplane below got stuck at one point. Clearly, it's a trick of our consciousness. But it's still interesting how such effects occur. This pilot had the most mind-blowing experience during one of the flights. As he was above the thick clouds, he noticed a tiny metallic eclipse or sphere. It was rushing at a tremendous speed, and clearly, it was not like any earthly aircraft. I think this is one of the most evident proofs of the existence of UFOs. Residents of Moscow noticed a strange saucer-shaped cloud flying over Andropov Avenue. It sparked a big discussion because it strongly resembled the shape of a UFO and moved independently. Personally, I was puzzled by the fact that it seemed to be rotating as well. People suspected that it was a well-disguised UFO living inside the cloud. Lucky for those who managed to capture it on film. We're used to watching movies and videos on a full screen, but this evening, People could only enjoy half of the sunset. Where did the other half go? It felt like someone had placed a screen over half the sky. This situation is referred to by meteorologists as a split sky and occurs when a large cloud over the horizon casts a shadow. Let's start with the water element. Water is the most amazing substance on the planet. It can take various states, liquid, solid, and gaseous, we learn about in school. But what do you say about jelly ice? Right now, we see a sort of plastic jellyfish-like substance on the surface of a pond instead of an icy crust. This is such elastic ice, the real deal, no tricks. Did you not get the temptation to eat it like jelly? If while kayaking on a calm lake, you find movement in the water, be it bubbles or a whirlpool, what do you think first? Would you start hypothesizing about natural phenomena, gas or currents under the water? Or would you immediately turn to a horror genre? Watch out, something's about to pop out. What this man found looks like boiling water, but most likely he caught the moment when gas from the soil was escaping to the surface. Icebergs are treacherous. Remember, one of them doomed the unsinkable Titanic. These people experienced drama in miniature and were able to appreciate how suddenly an ice block appears alongside and how unpredictable their shape and behavior are. Of course, tourists on a cruise ship joke, but you and I know that jokes about icebergs in the ocean are in poor taste. Siberia endures such low temperatures that they might be a limit for human survival. Nevertheless, millions of people inhabit this vast territory, and they are not averse to having fun with the cold. If you pour boiling water from a balcony there, it reaches the ground already turned to ice. This is simple physics, but in action, it looks incredibly impressive. 
The breathtaking contrast between golden brown and poison blue looks like an effect created for a science fiction film shoot. The salt lakes of Egypt look exactly like this. They are very popular thanks to their perfect colors and water properties. Everyone who wants to swim, even those who can't swim, can do so. The high concentration of salt makes the water so dense that it will hold you up all on its own. A popular entertainment in Goa. If you are not claustrophobic, you can try walking on water inside a large plastic ball. Don't be afraid, it won't be carried away. The ball is tied with the rope, and all that is required of you is to maintain your balance. Inside the ball, you're safe, but not everyone manages to stay on their feet. Water absorbing is for those who want to bathe without getting their clothes wet. Now, let's turn to gaseous substances. Their deposits are often found under the waters of rivers and lakes. This man managed to warm up without investment. In many rivers and lakes under the ice, methane gas accumulates. Trapped under ice shields, it acts like spare gasoline. Just bring a lighter and you have a powerful free heater at your disposal. Just be careful not to burn your eyebrows when you start such a fire. Behold the great power of natural gas. And again, people are trying to ignite a frozen lake. The answer lies right under the ice. See the frozen bubbles? Methane tries to escape from under the ice, but no one knows how high and powerful the fountain will be. Methane is more combustible than carbon dioxide, and it's better to step back when you're trying to light this natural burner. Water is supposed to extinguish fire, but what if it catches fire itself? It's as strange as if contained gasoline. A river on fire is not a biblical sense, nor a gate to hell. There's nothing unnatural here. A fire arose because the same methane that accumulated under the water caught spark. People who know about gas fountains like to play with this resource, and in every district, there are folks who love to light it up without reason. Let's ascend higher to aircraft and celestial wonders. The passenger of this flight hoped to see beautiful scenes from the window, but instead discovered that the engine was not working. If you thought the flight continues by power of prayer, then I hate to disappoint you. The propeller of the engine got into perfect synchronization with the frame rate per second on the smartphone camera. Optical illusions can drive you crazy. Just know this and do not believe them. Many like to film clouds at sunset, just like that when nothing is happening. Or is it? Wait a minute, we all see this some figure wandering among the clouds. Contrary to all notions of the possible, some humanoid form is walking among the clouds. Attention, I did not say this first. The theory about the appearance of the Savior has already flickered in the comments. What do you think? Can this be real? We're used to clouds not descending to people, but in this video, something curious walks among us and sniffs around. Some strange structure resembling cotton candy wandered onto the street could it be a clump of toxic foam from a factory? These friends ascended to the top of a mountain to enjoy the view. How surprised they were when a thrown pebble didn't fall downwards, but sideways. You'd say this is against the law of gravity. Yes and no. The pebble should indeed fall down, but the wind is so strong that the stone was just a feather to it, easily swept away by the air current. No magic, just strong winds. So, don't throw boulders on mountaintops. They might come flying back at you. Scientists would say, well, yes, it's a huge lenticular cloud. But we can't accept that simply. It's massive and incredibly creepy, as if a portal to another world. These frames were shot in Turkey, and they quite scared the public. Even if nature splurred on a colorful show, it still turned out somewhat unearthly. On a clear day with a cloudless sky, there are many trails from airplanes, but this object, resembling a mint tic-tac, suddenly appeared on the scene and greatly puzzled us. How could it fly so fast without having wings? Is this some new air racing car or an alien spaceship? This case is not the only one. A drone operating in the area accidentally caught the frenzied pill on camera. Evaluate the speed. What is it, if not a spacecraft? When you go about your business, you don't expect such a scene. The procession of a flying saucer accompanied by fighter jets speed by in the sky. 
The most commendable action would be your quick reaction, whipping out your smartphone and capturing this video, so you wouldn't have to prove what you saw with just words. Just don't say the first object is something all familiar and understandable. In my opinion, the video shocks with its realism. True, it very well could be a flying object that the military planes are chasing. Or not. It's time to get back to Earth. We've been missing the fun stories. This lawn looks like a natural trampoline. And although these bubbles under the ground seem amusing to us, they aren't very beneficial for the soil. When so much water accumulates there, the Earth can start not only dancing, but also walking. The soil can turn into sinkholes, which are quite unsafe. Everyone has heard of the concept of auto hernia, and it's an air bump on a car's wheel. But such a bubble of that size, even excavator workers have seen it for the first time. It seems that there was not enough room inside for so much air. The question is how to treat such a gigantic pimple. In this case, just pop it and change the tire. Ba-boom! Have you ever forgotten about a sandwich you took with you? It's one thing when something sad starts to smell from the bag, but it's another if something was in the lunchbox. Children often forget about their food, and if you don't check the contents of their backpacks or their lockers in time, you can encounter not only cheese a la blue cheese, but also sausage blue cheese. Mold is extremely unpleasant and harmful, so never breathe in this green dust. It's time for fleeing objects. Everyone is trying to hide from the rain, even objects. Look, this umbrella forgot its calling to save people and is running away with all its might. This video was captured by surveillance camera. Surely the homeowner who lost the umbrella has crossed it out from the list of favorite things for such cowardly behavior. Sometimes in the kitchen, it's not just milk that runs away. The city of Anadia in Portugal experienced a heartbreaking event. Its streets were once flowing rivers of real red wine. It wasn't a chemical rain, but a breach in the vat at a winery. A tank at the distillery malfunctioned and released gallons of red wine as if it were a flood. The colossal loss of high-quality product would not leave the Portuguese without wine forever. But if you imagine this amount in bottles, it becomes sad. And such precipitation is also not useful for the ecosystem. When you get so much wine into a body of water, jokes about drunk fish just don't seem funny anymore. Some objects are helped to escape by specially trained animals. Everything seems normal. Tourists on a boat, the sun, the sea. But attention, this woman's phone is now in danger. In an instant, and it's gone. A tiny fish committed the theft, which managed to jump out of the water so precisely as to knock the phone out of the woman's hand. And if it weren't for the slow motion playback, we would never have guessed how exactly this happened. Trees sometimes like to stroll on their own. This video was taken in Maryland during a hurricane. Before our eyes, a tree leaves its usual place and moves several feet. Interesting. How do the roots behave? The most interesting thing is how the hurricane managed to knock it down so intelligently. Alas, because of the roof, the main part is not visible. Perhaps this tree had legs. A couple more plots where inanimate objects behave like living things. In Iran, instead of vegetable oil, it seems citizens are buying crude oil in bulk. Otherwise, how did a bottle of it end up at an ATM? And even more unclear, why did it decide to spill like a fountain? The amazing thing is that how the oil instantly captures all the space around it. Which, by the way, does not prevent the person at the ATM from continuing operations. I'm sure that such a bulge in the floor looks normal. It's likely a warning that something is about to happen. Oh, it already did. The tile popped out as if it were being pushed, maybe due to the underfloor heating or humidity. But if your floor was bulging up, be prepared for surprises. And these objects are slowly floating down the river. Why is the stream full of watermelons? Did someone tip them from a truck? Or perhaps it was done on purpose. If the stream flows in the right direction, the watermelons will end up there too. This is called a watermelon duct. Now, let's turn to the stories about animals. They can scare us, amuse us, and touch our hearts. Let's start with the fish. It can pull off tricks. 
This fisherman spent time to catch a little fish in his net. But sometimes the lottery throws up a grand prize without warning. How can it be that a much larger fish just jumps into your net? The chance is one in a billion. For those seeing this fish for the first time, the spectacle is undoubtedly a discovery. This fisherman did not expect to get slapped by a fish flying at night and was caught by surprise. Another resounding slap. This man went to the river in search of the perfect fishing spot. It seemed there couldn't be a better one. There are so many here that they jump into the boat themselves or dive at the faces of those they don't really like too much. Here our fisherman has already caught a slap from a healthy fish, which also took his cap with it. But at least they didn't have to catch fish, it jumped into the boat itself. Now there will be a lot of fish. The island of the Philippines witnessed an extraordinary phenomena. Entire shoals were washed ashore. It felt like the fish were pouring from a horn of plenty. There was so much that piles accumulated on the shore, you could take fish baths. This was literally a fish day. Locals had never seen anything like it in their lives. While experts trying to figure out what could have caused such a massive arrival of fish shoals in shallow water, people brought baskets and collected as much catch as they could carry, and even some filled their freezers. Let's move on to mammals. One of the most beautiful diving experiences is diving with whales. It is absolutely safe, despite their gigantic sizes. In the water, these mammals are incredibly graceful and attentive. People dive not just to look at the whales in the face, but to hear the sounds they make underwater. Witnesses confess that it sounds like the most enchanting music that they have ever heard. The main thing is to not get under the water while the whale empties its bowels. Not only marine animals eat fish, and not only cats. Admit it, do you have any strange eating habits? Maybe you like raw mushrooms or moldy cheese. Then you are a gourmet. But what about this goat that chews one fish after another? Who is she? A predatory horned mammal? I always thought that goats were herbivores, not touching anything but greens. Maybe she has a problem with her sense of smell. Or does she live next to a dock where it's easier to get fish than grass? Another example of an atypical diet for herbivores. At first glance, the deer is grazing as usual. But if you zoom in on the image, we see that he's chewing a bird. This strange behavior with plenty of grass around, why eat what is not usually eaten by hooved animals? Experts explain this behavior as a lack of necessary elements, protein and calcium. Well, if he eats it, he must need it. Horses are known for their speed, strength, and intelligence. See, now they have acquired a new talent, standing on water. Just kidding, of course, but the explanation is simple. It's a perfect optical illusion, not a miracle. The horses are just standing in shallow water while a boat moves around them. So it seems the horses are swimming. Our eyes are easily deceived by perspective, so be vigilant. We know that polar bears are the largest predators on land and in the ice, but even the most fearsome animals can look funny. For instance, when they slide on the ground like this. Maybe they want someone to scratch them or give them a massage. Honestly, I've never seen a polar bear look so cute and toy-like. Now, here's the Russian version of the story of Winnie the Pooh and the balloon. It's amazing how men in Russia managed to tame wild bears in the forest. We all know that the bear is a true master of the taiga, but apparently even the most ferocious beasts sometimes turn into little bear cubs that want to play. This is a soft toy. I'm talking about the balloon now, but let's not forget that the bear is not a plush. If you travel on the roads of Russia, be prepared. There is plenty of wildlife here. Bears not only ride bicycles in the circus, but also ride motorcycles on the highway. The most amazing thing is that from the back, they are not immediately recognizable. They seem like a normal driver. 
This video hit the internet in 2015 and instantly made it to the top. Everyone praised the driving skills of this bear. Now let's turn to birds. They too have a great deal of fun. Even ducks appreciate nature's jokes. When the water in their favorite pond freezes, they set up a rink. It's funny to watch them slip along the momentum, and I think they really like it. Who knows, maybe they even hold their championships. Birds, all running away from a wave. Hmm, suspicious. It seems that they were caught in mass insanity. Have they forgotten that they can fly? No, they haven't forgotten. They just wanted to run on the sand. Australia is so far away from us that we can only believe the stories filmed by locals. Cockatoos have taken a liking to this man's house, so much so that they began to eat it along with the cladding. How would you deal with such pests? Would you move? If a crow is chasing the taxi you're riding in, there are several possibilities. You are wearing too many diamonds, you're carrying something very tasty, or this bird is the driver's pet. It's known that crows are very intelligent. They can communicate and remember our faces, so don't offend them. It's better to act like this passenger. Treat them with a delicacy. Although the crow was aiming at the colorful threads from the container, let it try another time. This Denver weather forecast episode was a sensation. The camera of a local channel was hijacked live by a curious bird that was eager to chat. The reporter decided to play along with the situation, and it turned out to be quite amusing. Sometimes animals, without knowing it, can lift the spirits of thousands of people. If you think your head is preoccupied with something it shouldn't be, check if something hasn't built a nest on it. Birds usually build homes in trees, but this little bird thought the middle of a buffalo's horn was more attractive. It seems the buffaloes don't protest. They even carefully carry the nest with bird eggs. No problem. That's what it means to have strong nerves. Predators can be small. Cats apparently were told some secret at the creation of the world. They are so fearless as if everything around them belongs to them, and they can calmly take whatever they want. Even a crocodile's lunch, which is already in its mouth. There are no prohibitions on this planet for cats. If they dislike something, they'll probably slap it in the face, be it an alligator or a lion. Probably crocodiles were also told something about cats, since they react so benignly. No wonder in ancient Egypt, both cats and alligators were revered as sacred animals. Now a bit of web and slime. This Brazilian caterpillar lives in a web, not because it's tangled up in life. These white outgrowths, resembling silk threads, are a respiratory system. Yes, it lives with its lungs outside. The skipper caterpillar, about two inches long, is found from Brazil to Texas and transforms into a brown moth. It looks like the tree put on a protective cover or is making a mask for bark care. Actually, it's a cocoon made of dense web, so dense that it peels off like a peel. And not disgusting at all, on the contrary, like in childhood, fascinating. These sticks look like cinnamon, but actually, someone lives here. An organism called Pectinaria, a stick-like species of worm. They build a dwelling around themselves out of sand grains. They can inhabit both water and land. So, these are not twigs, but a village. This person decided to chop some wood for a barbecue, but when he split open the thick trunk, he was not pleased with the contents. Imagine the wood was infested with disgusting-looking worms similar to leeches. Would you want to burn that? If you're venturing into the jungle or the shore in search of kindling, check it carefully. Now back to the water. They say life emerged from it and will return there. Little tricks involving water and air. If the sand is bubbling, does it mean the water has reached boiling point or a monster is about to burst out from underground? No, don't worry, the sand is porous and air accumulates underneath it, striving to escape. I don't know how it happened. Clouds or clumps of cotton have descended onto the surface of the river. Could it be snow that doesn't melt or foam from chemicals? Perhaps a soap factory got rid of a defective batch of laundry detergent. Jokes aside, it looks strange. 
If you see clouds in the water, just to be safe, I'd stay away from them. And such a spectacle leaves no one indifferent and certainly pleases all eyewitnesses. Do you think it's an enlarged view of microorganisms under a microscope? No, this is real life. These air bubbles are trying to escape from under a thin layer of ice. There they crowd under the crust, unite, and wait for a chance to break through the surface. It's a soothing sight. It feels like someone hit pause right after the rain, and these drops have frozen in perfect form. There's an explanation for this magical scene. Actually, these water droplets are on the surface of a spider web. Hence, they do not spread out or evaporate. Such a beautiful sight. Time for a discovery. Have you ever seen such jelly-like green balls? They look like apples growing in the water. They were found at the bottom of a river in the state of Maryland, USA. The person who found these creatures claimed that they belonged to an extinct colony of aliens. Logically, yes, green little men must hatch from green eggs. Let's not jump to conclusions. Let the scientific community handle the research, and we'll wait for reports and continue to discover the world. Air bubbles and algae, in my opinion, a good explanation even for those who never leave the office. Let's be realistic, and everyone, good luck. Well, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. We can't wait to hear your comments under the video, and right now, you can click on one of the two episodes that have already appeared on your screen.